is this blush by Sasha Cosmetics. This brand is from Trinidad, and I got this this past spring from my cousin. This color is called Claret, if I believe it is. I cannot tell you how pigmented. This is the most pigmented blush I've ever received in my life. Like, you have to go so lightly on this blush. Look how, look how it is. And, I mean, you have to really use a very light hand to when you're using this blush i usually use this blush if my eye look is simple and i just want my 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 cheeks to stand out i put a nice little simple blush i will use this this is such a great blush um if you know anyone in trinidad just tell them get you one of these this is like the best um blush i've ever gotten i do want to get more of that another story next item i'm going to try to go a little quicker is this angled face um brush and it's from mark I use this to contour my cheeks. Brush is very soft, very soothing. Really love it. I mean, if I have to recommend any brushes from Mark, it would be this angled brush. It would be this foundation brush. And it will be, let me see if I can find it quickly. And I can't find, oh yeah, here it is. And it would be this all over eyeshadow brush. This is in my giveaway that I have now. So check out that video. I have this item available. So these three brushes are my favorites from Mark, and I should, I, you know what, I'm going to add this in because this will always be my spring favorite. Pack on eyeshadow well, and I just love it. It's very soft, very durable. Um, the bristles do not fall out. I've never had Eco Tools brushes, and I picked up this um, blush brush. Well, I use it as a blush. I don't even know what kind of brush it is, but I'm assuming it's a blush brush because that's what I use it for. I am in love with this brush. These brushes are so soft. And I mean, it packs on the blush like no other. And I love it. I just love it. This was kind of pricey. I think this was about $12, I believe. But it's so worth it. I want to get the set. Next item is another item that is featured in my triple threat giveaway. And it's the Mark What Align Felt Tip Eyeliner. And um, I can't tell you how I love this eyeliner. Not look at this tip. It's very pointy. You can get a nice good edge, swoop it in. I use this very often, very, very often. And you can go as dark as you want. You can go as light as you want. Reapply it. It's a great eyeliner. And um, if you want a chance to get this, you have to enter my triple threat giveaway and check out that video for details. Next item. Um that I'm loving for spring. I've had this for a long time. I put it down. I wasn't really, I don't know. I wasn't really on it like that, but it is this, um, <clears throat> Rimmel London deep ocean. eye waterproof eye definer. I, what I, why am I using this for this spring is because everything is all about a pop of color on the eye, the whole color blocking thing. And I've done a couple of color blocking looks when I wasn't really doing the videos, um, because my laptop was acting up. So, this is perfect if you want to do a very simple eye and just add a very pop of color on the bottom lid. It is that one that's next to, this is it here. Very pigmented, very um, easy to blend, to smudge, I mean. And you can find this at any drugstore. Next item is another item that is included in my triple threat giveaway. And it's the Milani eyebrow um, brush with the spoolie. I mean, eyebrow pencil with the spoolie. I am using it right now on my eyebrows. My eyebrows are not in the perfect condition because I need to pluck them. But this is, I love this. And I decided to put this in my giveaway because I know you guys will love it too. But so that's that. As for a lipstick... You can't go wrong. Another item in my triple threat giveaway. It is my Mark Bear Hug lipstick. I cannot tell you guys how much I'm in love with this lipstick. This is my second tube. I'm going to get more because it is the perfect, perfect nude. I'm just going to add a little on my lips. It is the perfect, perfect nude. You don't need a gloss over this. If you want to, you can, but... It is perfect on any skin complexion. It's affordable. I think these lipsticks are about $5, I believe. Can't remember. Next item is 
oh i didn't really buy any uh, much nail polishes this um season i don't know why because i really have way too much but i did see this one from sally hansen this week and it's called it's in malt and i'm wearing it now this look how gorgeous this is this is like so perfect for spring and summer so perfect for any time of the year i just think it's so natural looking it just looks like something you could just drink like really like some kind of malt shake or something and um I believe this is limited edition. I, they had a section where it said limited edition. I don't remember if I picked this up, this one up from that collection or if it was just from the regular, but this is such a great color. I thought it would be very light on my nails, but two coats and this is all, this is what came out of it. So get that. Um, okay, now for my um, eyeshadows. Going very quickly because this video is getting extremely long. It is, um, you know what? I'm going to cut this video in half and I'm going to do part two. See you again. And the next part I'm going to feature is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I really love this product. I've had this for um, almost a year now. Um, I go to it all the time. As you can see, it's all grainy on this side. But I use mostly the, um, the brown for contouring. The pink, I use it sometimes depending on if I don't have a blush and I'm just on the go. This is great. You can find this at Target. Next product is the only Wet n Wild product that I would swear by if someone asked me which um, Wet n Wild palette would you choose. It will have to be the Wet n Wild palette in Vanity. This is my go-to palette. I can't tell you guys how much I love this. I only use the matte side. I have not used the, sh um, the um, shimmer side, which I'm going to try and see how it looks. But this palette is just day night it doesn't matter i it's so it's just one of my favorite palettes and um if, if you guys know about when and while you know that their stuff is just to die for them next palette that i've loved and is perfect for spring and i did a look on this which did i even do a video no i didn't even do a video okay anyways um the palette that i have is a sleek palette and this is in their um paraguay if I'm pronouncing it right, I'm sure I've messed up the name. This is their limited edition palette that came out a couple of, um, probably a month or two ago. And um, I did a look. I didn't do a video, as I remember. I only did the look. And these are the colors. So perfect for spring. I did a look. And um, if I have time, maybe I'll attach it to this video. If not, then you'll have to look on my blog. But if you check out some of these colors, I mean... They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous oranges and peaches, and they have some yellows and pinks and some grays. So perfect for spring. So um, the last time I checked on their site, it was sold out. So um, you would have to check again if you're interested in getting that palette. Next one, I have to go back to this palette over and over again. It doesn't matter what I buy. It is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. It was one of the hardest palettes to ever get your hands on. But they have it in stores now. It's in stock. And um, for a while, I put down the palette, and then I just used it again this past weekend. And it's just like I fell in love with it again. I just cannot get over, like, how naturally pigmented and creamy and easy to blend colors that are in this palette. You can go from neutrals to um, browns to um, smoky eye looks. You can create so many looks with this palette. The palette is about 40 something dollars, I believe. I went to Ulta this past week and they do have them in stock, so they should be available. But um, they come with the um, Urban Decay um, 24 hour glide on pencils. And um, it also comes with a um, primer potion too. But well worth the investment. Get it if you haven't gotten it. The last product, yeah, that's the last product. The last product is going to be this Inglot palette that I recently purchased. And um, I didn't really intend on buying a palette, but I don't know. Inglot has a way of making me spend my money. Okay, so this time I wanted something. My intentions were to get something to highlight my cheekbones. And so I, I don't even have a clean finger to even show you, but I basically chose this big color to use to highlight my cheekbones. I love this, and I, I don't know why I completely forgot to use this in this tutorial, but I've used this in a couple of looks I've done um, lately. 
I this one is a blush color and it could also be used as a contouring color depending on your complexion but this color is such a natural brown color it just makes my cheeks just look so nice it just gives it a bit of warmness to it which I love these two eyeshadows the orange and the blue I believe I used the orange or maybe I did not I think I did these two I just thought it would be perfect um, I'm all into spring. I'm all into that pop of color, the whole color blocking thing. And I've been creating some eyeshadow looks um, corresponding to that trend. And that's the reason why I picked up these two eyeshadows because I don't have any in my collection that are this bright in color. And I thought it was perfect. And this palette, I went, you know, way and I used this recently. And um, I really, really love this palette. Really love it. So... Um, what I love about Inglot is that you get to create your own little palette, you you know, and it's worth it. The money is so worth it. This Freedom palette with the shadows was, I believe it was $40. I believe so. And it was worth it because I've been using this and I really love the colors that I choose, which is great. So um, that is it for my spring favorites. I Again, um, I hope you liked the video. I hope some of these products were of interest to you oops there is a product i forgot to mention this product i cannot do without it um if you got oily skin like me you would know that you need a product to um blot your skin throughout the summer heat and it is my mark magnificent golden honey oil absorbing powder and here it is this I use this every day, every night. If I have a little bit of oil in this, just a little dap on my nose, and it's gone. I love this product. If you are a Mark fan, try this out. You will like it too. So again, now that's the final of my um, spring favorites, part two. Hope you guys like it. I'm sorry if part one was way too long. I will try to edit the video as much as I can, but if not, just fast forward what you're not interested in and just keep on watching whatever you are. So... Thank you guys for your continued support. I'm trying to put in as many videos as possible. Um, I'm a busy woman. I don't really have a lot of time to do videos, but I will designate a day and just throw in all videos all at once. So if I'm wearing the same outfit, don't mind it. It's because I'm a busy person and I can't do a video every single day. I have to do multiple videos within one day. So thank you guys for your, um, for your continued support. Check out my Triple Threat giveaway. If you have not um, subscribed and followed my blog and entered the contest, do it now. You have until June 19th. Check out my blog for all my goody little um, blog posts that I have. I posted up. It is at www.therealchattypatty.com. Thank you guys so much. I really love you. See you again later. Bye.